Welcome back guys. Now, before I start this particular topic, if you look at the corner over there, there's a red subscribe button. Don't forget to tap it and subscribe to my channel. In this video, I'll be looking at 9.6 differentiating trigonometric functions. So I've covered differentiating sine and cos, but now we need to differentiate tan, cosec, cot, sec. Right, so let's start off with the differential of tan. If y is equal tan f of x, then dy over dx is given by taking f of x, differentiating that, so f dash of x, and tan differentiates to a sec squared, f of x. Second one, if y is equal sec of f of x, then dy over dx is given by taking f of x, differentiating that, f dash of x, sec differentiates to sec tan, f of x, f of x. Third one, if y is equal cot f of x, then dy over dx is given by, you take f of x, differentiate that, gives you f dash of x, and cot differentiates to minus cosec squared. So put the minus there, cosec squared f of x. The fourth one is, if y is equal cosec f of x, then dy over dx is given by, you take f of x, you differentiate that, giving you f dash of x. Cosec differentiates to minus cosec cot. So minus cosec cot f of x, f of x. Here are eight equations. For each of these equations, I want to find dy over dx. I will be using either rule number one, two, three, or four. Let's start off with question number one. We've got y equals sec 5x. To find dy over dx, the very first step is to differentiate 5x with respect to x, giving us 5. We know that sec differentiates to sec tan. The next step is to put in the 5x. Let's have a look at question number 2 now. We've got y equals 2 sec squared 5x. The very first step is to rewrite y in the following form y is equal to sec 5x square bracket power 2. Now, I know how to differentiate functions of this particular form. That rule was covered in video 9.3 and the rule is up on the board over here. What you need to do is bring down the power n, subtract 1 from the power giving you n minus 1, and then multiply by the derivative of the function f of x, so that is f dash of x. So I'm going to be using that rule to differentiate this. Let's put this particular rule in action. So, I want dy over dx. My first step is to bring down the power 2, so 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract 1 from the power, so 2 take away 1 is just 1. Multiplied by the derivative of sec 5x. Well, we differentiate 5x with respect to x, we get 5. And we know that sec differentiates to sec tan. And then we just put in 5x. Okay, we can actually clean this up and write the following. 4 times 5 is 20. And I've got sec 5x multiplied by sec 5x. That is sec squared 5x. And then we have the tan 5x. Moving on to question number three now. We've got y equal cosec x squared plus x. To find dy over dx, the first step is to differentiate x squared plus x with respect to x. So if we do that, we get 2x plus 1. We know that cosec differentiates to minus cosec cot. So I can put the minus here. Cosec cot. Okay, then put in x squared plus x. I can leave my answer like that. 
Question number four, we've got y equal four cosec cubed x squared plus x. The very first step is to rewrite y in the following form. y is equal to four cosec in bracket x squared plus x square bracket power three. Okay, so we can differentiate this using this particular rule over here, which is covered in video 9.3. So let's find dy over dx. The first step is to bring down the power, so 4 times 3 is 12. Subtract 1 from the power, so 3 take away 1 is 2, multiplied by the derivative of this. Okay, so we differentiate x squared plus x with respect to x, that is just 2x plus 1. And we know that cosec differentiates to minus cosec cot. So minus cosec cot, and then we put in x squared plus x. Now, I can actually rewrite this in the following form. Minus 12 in bracket 2x plus 1. I've got a cosec x squared plus x squared multiplied by a cosec x squared plus x. So that will give me cosec cubed x squared plus x and then the cot x squared plus x. Moving on to question number 5, we've got y equals 3 cot 2x. To find dy over dx, the first step is to differentiate 2x with respect to x and that will be 2. So you bring that to the front, 2 times 3 is 6 and we know that cot differentiates to minus cosec squared. So I can put a minus here, cosec squared 2x. Question number 6, we've got y equal 5 cot to the power of 4 2x. The very first step is to rewrite y in the following form. y is equal to 5 cot 2x in square bracket power 4. Okay, so we can actually differentiate this using this rule over here covered in video 9.3. So I'm going to differentiate now. I get dy over dx is equal to, I bring down the power of 4, 4 times 5 ladies and gents is 20. Subtract 1 from this power, 4 take away 1 is 3, multiplied by the derivative of cot 2x. So we need to first of all differentiate 2x with respect to x, and if we do that, we get 2. And we know that cot differentiates to minus cosec squared. So I can put a minus here. Cosec squared. Then you just put it 2x. What we can do is simplify this. But because I'm running out of space, I'm just going to leave it like that. The simplification will just be minus 40 cot cubed 2x cosec squared 2x. Moving on to question number 7. We've got y equal 2 tan 3x minus 2. Right, so dy over dx is given by, the first step is to differentiate 3x minus 2 with respect to x, and that gives us 3, so we can bring 3 to the front. 3 times 2 is 6, and we know that tan differentiates to sex squared. So we can put sex squared here, and then put in 3x minus 2. There you go. Question number 8, we've got y equal 2 tan squared 3x minus 2. The very first step is to rewrite y in the following form. y is equal 2 tan 3x minus 2 square bracket power 2. Now we can differentiate this using this rule over here which was covered in video 9.3. So I'm going to differentiate now. I get dy over dx is equal to Bring down the power 2, 2 times 2 is 4, subtract 1 from the power, so 2 take away 1 is just 1, multiplied by the derivative of tan 3x minus 2. So what is the derivative of tan 3x minus 2? Well, first of all, what you need to do is differentiate 3x minus 2 with respect to x, and that gives us 3. And we know that tan differentiates to sex squared. And then we just put in 3x minus 2. 
We can actually simplify this and write the following. 4 times 3 is 12. And then we've got 6 squared 3x minus 2. And the tan 3x minus 2. Here is an exam style question. Differentiate with respect to x part 1, x squared sec 3x part 2, e to the power tan x over cos x. Let's have a look at part 1. The very first step is to let y equal x squared sec 3x. Now, you need to say to yourself, okay, what rule of differentiation should I use to differentiate this? Well, I can see a product of two functions. The first function is x squared, the second function is sec 3x, so we can use the product rule. Now, the first step is to label your u and your v. So over here, my u is x squared and my v is sec 3x. Okay, so u is equal x squared, differentiate u with respect to x gives you 2x. v is equal sec 3x, differentiate v with respect to x gives you, well, the first step is to differentiate 3x with respect to x, that is 3, and we know that sec differentiates to sec tan. So we have 3 sec tan, and we put in the 3x. Now, using the product rule, I can write dy over dx is equal u v dash plus v u dash. Putting in u v dash v u dash into the product rule for differentiation gives me the following result, ladies and gents. And that result is x squared multiplied by v dash, which is 3 sec 3x tan 3x plus v, which is sec 3x multiplied by u dash, which is 2x. I can actually simplify this and write the following, 3x squared sec 3x tan 3x plus 2x sec 3x. There you have it, that is my dy over dx. Let's have a look at part 2. The very first step is to let y equal e to the power tan x over cos x. Now you need to say to yourself, okay what rule should I use to differentiate this? Over here we have a fraction, the top function is e to the power tan x and the bottom function is cos x. So what we need to do is use the quotient rule for differentiation. The very first step is to label your u and your v. So over here my u is e to the power tan x and my v is cos x. Okay, so we've got u equal e to the power tan x. I need to differentiate u with respect to x. I know how to differentiate e to the power f of x. What I need to do is take the power, differentiate that and bring that in front of the e. So the differential of tan x is just sec squared x. So I can write sec squared x e to the power tan x. Now if you don't know how to differentiate functions of the form e to the power f of x, then I would suggest that you look up my video 9.2. Okay, now, I've got u, I've got u dash, v is equal cos x. v dash will just be minus sin x. Now the quotient rule of differentiation says the following, dy over dx is given by v u dash minus u v dash all over v squared. My target now is to substitute my v, u dash, u, v dash and v squared into the quotient rule for differentiation. So if I do this, I obtain the following result. v which is cos x multiplied by u dash which is sec squared x e to the power tan x minus u which is e to the power tan x multiplied by v dash which is minus sin x all over v squared. So v squared will just be cos squared x. Now I can actually simplify this, but because I don't have enough space on the board, I'm just going to leave it like that. Here is another exam style question. Given that x is equal cosec 5y, y is more than or equal to 0, but less than or equal to pi over 2. 
Plot A, find dy by dx in terms of y. Plot B, hence find dy by dx in terms of x. Now for part A, our first step is to work out dx over dy. Once we have dx over dy, our second step is to use the rule that dy over dx is just 1 over dx over dy. So let's find dx over dy. So we are differentiating with respect to y. Cosec 5y. The first step is to differentiate 5y with respect to y, and if I do this, I get 5. I know that cosec differentiates to minus cosec cot, so I can put minus there, cosec cot, and then stick in 5y. dy over dx is given by 1 over dx over dy. So we have 1 over minus 5 cosec 5y cot 5y. Let's have a look at part B. It says, hence, find dy over dx in terms of x. Now, the word hence is used, so you need to refer back to your answer in part A. Okay, so first of all, we've got dy over dx. dy over dx is 1 over minus 5 cosec 5y cot 5y. I want this to be in terms of x. First of all, I know that x is equal cosec 5y, so I can replace the cosec 5y with x, giving me 1 over minus 5x cot 5y. Now, I need to eliminate cot 5y. I know an identity that connects cot and cosec, and that identity is, in terms of 5y, the angle, 1 plus cot squared 5y is equal cosec squared 5y. Now, cot 5y is equal plus or minus square root cosec squared 5y minus 1. I need to say to myself now, okay, do I take the positive square root or the negative square root? Well, cot 5y we know it's just 1 over tan 5y. And we are given the range of y. It is more than or equal to 0, but less than or equal to pi over 2. So if I draw a cast diagram, I have the following. The angle y falls in the a quadrant. Cot is composed of tan, and because tan is positive in the a quadrant, cot is also positive. So over here, we must take the positive square root for cot. So I can write cot 5y is equal to the positive square root of cosec squared 5y minus 1. Now, I know what cosec 5y is. It is x. So cosec squared 5y will just be x squared. So I can write cot 5y in terms of x. And that will be square root x squared minus 1. The final step is to replace the cot 5y with square root x squared minus 1. So dy over dx in terms of x will be 1 over minus 5x square root x squared minus 